GarageBand has a bunch of settings that you can change, including some advanced settings right here in the app. But did you know that there's also another place in your settings app that you can change some GarageBand options? In this video, I'm gonna show you how, let's go. Ahoy hoy, my name is Pete. This is a GarageBand 5 Minute Tip. Now, if you want to learn all of the different settings that we have here and in the advanced settings as well, check out the other video linked down in the description. However, in this one, we're going to go over to our settings app. So I'm going to swipe up from the bottom here and I'm going to go over to the settings app here. Now, over on the left here, if we scroll down, you'll see that we have this apps section. Now, if you're on iPad OS 17 or earlier, your apps will all be listed here. But if you can't find them, if you've just updated and you're like, where are all my apps? They're right here under this apps tab. And this actually makes it much easier because now you can not only scroll through here, we can actually tap over here on the side. So to go to GarageBand, we can tap and then there's that nice new iPad OS 18 GarageBand logo. Let's tap on GarageBand and jump in and talk about these settings. The top section here is what GarageBand is allowed to access. Bluetooth, microphone, camera, can you use Siri? Can you find your GarageBand projects in search? And do you want to turn notifications on or off. That's all covered there. You've also got the background app refresh here, which you can turn on or off, mobile data usage on or off, and your document storage. This is the most important one here because I highly recommend you use iCloud Drive. If it's on my iPad, it's not going to back up your GarageBand projects. If we scroll down here, we have the more GarageBand specific options. Let's cover these one by one. Knob gestures can be automatic, linear, or circular. So that's whether you want to go up, down, side to side, or roundy, roundy with your knobs. I leave it on automatic. Crosstalk protection should probably stay on unless you're connecting a guitar and you're finding you can't monitor that guitar because you've got a very old school analog kind of rig, in which case you can turn it off, but you might get some feedback, so be careful. Automatic recording length. This is where we can set how many bars we have in GarageBand. With automatic on, you'll notice that this will say automatic and it will stretch this first section to however much audio we record or import. Support for MPE controllers, you can leave on if you don't have an MPE controller or you don't know what that means, it really doesn't matter. But if you're having problems, maybe try turning it off. Keyboard note labels, with these off, you'll see that we don't have any notes on our GarageBand keys. As soon as we turn this on and we come back over to GarageBand, check this out, every single note is labeled with its name. Enable Apple Design Audio Unit Extensions. Turn this on, did you know that there's a whole bunch of additional free plugins that you can use if you turn this on? If you come into Plugins and EQ, and hit edit and hit plus. If you go to audio unit extensions and scroll to the very bottom, all of these white Apple logo ones are in here if you enable that. And there's some cool stuff in here that I talk about in another video. You can find that in the description. Reset GarageBand. This is something you can use if your GarageBand is crashing or if you can't open a project, you've got a project that's stuck in there, you can use this. I've got another complete explainer video about how to use this in the description. So check that one out if you are having problems with a GarageBand. If you're not, leave it off. Reset identifier, this is an Apple privacy thing. So if you wanna make sure that you don't have your data linked to original data that you may have shared, you can turn that on. And at the bottom, we have the about section, your version, your license agreement, and your acknowledgements. This is only really handy to check that you are updated to the latest version of GarageBand. Once again, check out the videos down below if you'd like to learn how to use all of the settings here in GarageBand. Happy creating, and I'll see you next time.